Okay, good morning. Okay, everybody, good morning. It's Christmas Eve, and it's time now to start thinking about the winter treatment. Now, this is the stuff I use. It's called Apiboaxel. Don't know quite how to pronounce it. There it is. And I'm told that this is the only legal uh, way you can treat your bees in the UK with oxalic acid. So uh, this is the stuff you need. It's available on Amazon and from, I don't know, your local bee shop, I guess. Uh, secondly, there's two ways to do this. Uh, there is one called, I think it's called sublimation, where you, send, in essence, heat it up and stick the thing and the vapour, vaporised version of it. But we won't be doing that. We're doing the more simple of the two. Ideal for a little uh, hobbyist beekeeper like my good self. So the deal is, it's called the dribble technique, or the drizzle technique, or the a variation of one of the same. And this is how you do it. I'm going to do this in two parts. Part one, I'm going to make up the solution, cut the video, then return with part two, actually treating the bees. So that's the plan. So, first thing, one empty jar. Lid off, that's clean. And what we've got there is 300 grams of white sugar. I'm going to tip that into the jar carefully as I can. So there we go, 300 grams of white sugar, give or take a little bit I spilt on the table. Not mission critical at this stage. Part two of the thing, we've got 300 grams of warm, almost hot water. Uh, not boiling, could be, it's really a case of tipping it into the sugar. And in it goes. Right. Pop the lid on and give it a good old shake until all that sugar has dissolved. This is why it benefits from hot water rather than cold water. So this will probably take, I don't know, two or three minutes. I'll be cutting the video at that point. Okay, everyone, that's pretty much dissolved. It's the last little bit still to go, but it's uh, we're in the zone. So now, if my maths are correct, 300 plus 300 equals 600. We only really, really want 500, so there should be a little bit too much. So I'm just going to pour this solution, sugar and water, one to one, into this jug and measure out exactly, with my spectacles on, 500 millimetres. Here we go. Keep on going. Keep on going. Bang on. That's exactly half a litre, 500 millimetres. Sorry, millilitres. Very important to get that measurement correct. The extra, throw it away. There we go. That's the reason we do 300 and 300. You're always trying to get this measurement bang on. So part two now. So we'll tip it back into there. We now know we've got the exact right measurement in there of a Roughly one-to-one -one sugar solution. Okay, move this out of the way. Part two is to tip this powdery solution into there. Now, everyone on the internet and every book's going to warn you, this stuff's quite nasty. You don't want to be eating it. You don't want it in your eyes. You don't want it on your skin. It's not neat oxalic acid. It has already been mixed in with another solution of God knows what. Uh, probably preservatives or something, who knows. But the long and short of it is, you don't want to be getting this in your mouth, tasting it, your eyes, etc, etc. So now's the time to be careful. It's still day. I'm not going to put goggles on, but I do have some glasses on. I'm not going to wear gloves. So What I am going to do is cut the video and get some scissors. Okay, I've returned from the shed with a Stanley knife. Scissors will do the same job. Wouldn't use your food scissors. But uh, let's get this lid off. There we go. So there it is. Lid off. Carefully does it now. There's no rush. Notice this jar's got a nice wide top, which is beneficial. And in it goes. Right. Take a quick photograph of that or record the number, just in case you ever require it to be inspector. Highly unlikely, but that's the correct thing to do. Pop the lid back on. Make sure it's tightly secured. 
for giving this a good shake. Last job, I'm not finished shaking yet, but last job, some tape, put a sticker on it, make everyone aware that this stuff is nasty, not to be given to the cat, the dog, the children, etc, etc. There we go. Nice luminous warning. The marker pen, I might just write on that. Oxalic acid. And the date, maybe. Here we go. Acid. 22. There we go. And that essentially is it. I will keep shaking until it's all dissolved. But that essentially is part one of this project done.